Kendrick Lamar, we we've, we've talked about him whole time now from a standpoint of when is it going to come out? What's the next move? Where's he at? Like I I you know, we've had these conversations and he finally released um I guess a press release basically saying is that was a that notepad fit? on Instagram? Yeah, like I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's what anymore. Um saying that he's working on finishing up his last album with TDE mm-hmm. and that he's uh got some I'm paraphrasing here, but he's got some you know other plans and goals that he wants to get out. And Top Dog applied and was like, we're, we're excited about this last album. And, you know, we wish him luck in everything that he's doing. He, you know, he's a pillar in TDE, obviously. So it was dope to see both of them, nothing messy. I haven't seen messy or crazy come from it. But I was a little taken back when I saw that because I didn't, I didn't see him. I've always thought he'd be associated with TDE. In some form. I think he still will be, though. And he, and he probably will, but I'm talking about just being on the roster and flag guy. I've always looked at him mm-hmm. as that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not mad at him trying to expand his portfolio. Don't get it twisted. That's not what I'm saying. But <clears throat> what, do y'all, what do y'all think of the ramifications of that will be um, for TDE? Because TDE, I've always said they consistently are a, a nice roster. They put out the most consistent product as a unit. Has Kendrick weighed heavier than the, the rest of the crew? And do you think this will hurt them or will they still be able to? Yeah, he's the. You know what I mean? He's like you said, he's carrying the flag. So, of course, in in that nature. Yeah, essentially, he's passing the torch to somebody else. But the thing about TDE is, is their, uh, ro- their whole roster is filled with actual artists. So they'll be okay as far as that's concerned. It's just weird to see them without Kendrick. Yeah. And it's interesting interesting to see what his next step is because he didn't say he was going to be done with music. He just said this would be his last album with TDE. So who knows? He might be having his own label. Um, he might have signed a, a deal with Rock Nation or something. Who knows what's going on? Yeah. I I feel like it's... I don't think this ends the relationship with TDE by any means. And even, I, was it Punch that wrote back or was it Top Dog? Somebody replied. Top Dog I think replied. it was Top Dog. Um, just, you know, like wishing him the best and saying something along the lines of, this is what I would want all of the artists on TDE to eventually, yeah. you know, be able to do. I think it's just Kendrick, like, being able to come into his own and create his own thing out of it. I, I think it, if he still wants to work with all the same people, he probably will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just think this is like a self-empowerment move, which I think is great. As far as TD is concerned, I think they will do fine um, depending on how they move, you know, because before Kendrick, it wasn't, you know, I saw this argument today about the kings of the blog era or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And people typically say Cole Kendrick and... Drake, 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 but Drake was really well, pre. Yeah, yeah. If I mean, he was part of it, but it was like pre-prime blog era. You say crit then? I would say I, I crit. Would say crit. Yeah. I would say crit. I, think, or I think you should. I think you should include Drake. Problem is, is like Drake was already big by the time blogs were already like a thing. Like, well, not necessarily. He he definitely came up in the he had early more mainstream blog. looks. He came up in the blog era, but it was like pre two thousand ten. When he was, was getting, like, you know, when you're already on the song like, with Lil Wayne, hmm? it's in oh, eight on nine. See, I don't, I don't, but that's, I don't look he at was Drake. Already, but he was already established at that point, is what I was saying. Like, I don't look at, like, Drake doesn't, when I think Drake, nothing mixtape comes to my mind with him. Like, yeah. other than... Comeback um, season? Yeah, like, there's, there, it's you not know. like with Crit, I'm like, man, he had Crit, eight or nine to, mixtapes. To me, it's crazy. To, to me, Crit makes more sense because Crit was spawned in the blog era agreed Mm -hmm. in the same way that kendrick really was in the same way that cole was drake was already kind of around Mm -hmm. but it was pre-blog era when blogs were don't get me wrong there were blogs around at that time but not like that but it wasn't like the prime i guess is what it was he just he caught fire a little earlier yep yeah and they did but he he kind of started at the same time no i agree um but anyways my my point was what was my point oh we're talking about so so kendrick Kendrick was before Kendrick was who Kendrick was, he wasn't like just the only artist on TDE that was right. like popping. I mean, there I mean, was, J-Rock was first. He's going to be a hunter. Ab Soul was pretty hot too around yeah. that time period, if you remember. And Schoolboy Q was dropping stuff as well. So 
when you think habits and contradictions is cold talk to him so schoolboy but j-rock j-rock was obviously the flag was the original flagship artist yep mm -hmm. uh, but then it was kendrick and schoolboy and ab soul those three really i feel like I'm getting somebody but those three from td really had the potential to take that king crown spot if you will yeah and i feel like kendrick just took it mm -hmm. um but schoolboy still really dope absolutely yeah. dope. still dope you know like Isaiah Rashad, Rashad, you know, says a, like they're all good. Like uh, the the sir, you know, like yeah. Yeah. they're gonna be fine. Yeah, you know, like I'm I'm curious to see like how they move yeah. moving forward, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like uh, and how often they collaborate with each other and stuff like that. But to me, this is most likely just a business related thing than anything else. Yeah, yeah. he he spent so much time with them. I I, I get a like a family sense from buy from them. Like, I don't see it. Like you said, I don't see anything mm -hmm. really negative. I mean, I mean, it. think about it this way too, as an, as an artist, right. I'm friends with a lot of artists right? that I'm, that I'm really cool with that mm. I've never made music with before. Right. Mm. And you would think that if you're really cool with an artist that of course you're going to get in the studio and make stuff with them. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't, you just hang out and you do stuff, you know, yeah. um, so, yeah. and if it happens, it happens. happens. So, I, you know, yeah, this isn't a, a death row moment. When Snoop nah, left death row, reason, the ship yes. pretty much sunk. Yeah, there was nobody that to carry that flag or torch because you do, you don't have Dre, and you don't have Snoop, and, and Pac is gone. And Pac, Pac is, is gone. gone yeah. yeah, and without Snoop, that automatically eliminates Daz and Corrupt because those are his homeboys. So they were scrambling trying to find people to fill the void. Hmm. Whereas TDE, they they they're pretty much sailing. Regardless, I mean, it, it. they can go on, let's say that they can go on tour as a collective, but the tickets may not be as much anymore because Kendrick's not coming. But it'll still be a successful show. It'll still show. be a successful show. Well, I agree with that. But I, I think even more so, I think that whole mindset of like the, the, the whole label aspect, I feel like labels have just, they're just not as important as what they once were. Like when we talk about aftermath, oh, yeah. you know, and, and, uh, death row it was different like nowadays even though their labels labels are just kind of like a thing that kind of is there but labels are kind of irrelevant like they don't yeah, yeah nobody cares who's on def jam no, yeah. like, i don't even know who's on def jam it, it doesn't you matter know? it doesn't mm -hmm. even feel i mean maybe dreamville a little bit and maybe td like i'll give you that you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah. but like outside of that but we don't look at them like we used to look at i don't look at td like def jam was like bigger than life yeah. TDE is like it's just a dope underground label. That's how it feels. But they just got a they got a hell of a roster and they make good music. You I hope they saying? replace them with. I hope they replace Kendrick with somebody that we don't know that's really good. That's mm -hmm. what I hope because like I'm not bad at I'm yeah. they have the potential to, and they have the resources to take somebody who's really really talented and give them the opportunity to thrive. Yeah, and not so. I I think it's a great thing. I hope Kendrick does the same thing with whatever he's doing. I'm mm -hmm. with that. Jay Moore, what you what you think? Uh, about the future, man, for TDE and and you know and Kendrick and Kendrick. Either. I think I think TDE will be just fine. Sis is a star. Schoolboy Q is a star. J Rock is a star. You know the thing is when you make the comparisons to Death Row, you know Daz and Corrupt were stars, but they weren't. They didn't. They didn't already have their uh, foundation established. Mm -mm. You know they had the you know the first Dog Pound album, and then it wasn't that long after that that Tupac came along and all the resources went to Tupac. Mm -hmm. Well, then Tupac died and, you know, or was killed rather. Um, and then it was like, oh yeah, we got these other artists. Uh, maybe we should put something into them. And then Suge goes to jail. Yep. Snoop, you know, he puts out an album that doesn't, you know, since they hadn't really put in, putting the resources into him and Dre's gone, you know, then all of a sudden Snoop's second album in it, you know, and you know, then all now they're like, oh, maybe we should put out that Rage album. Like everything was an afterthought, yeah. Because it was like Suge's mentality was like, I don't need anybody but Tupac. Yep. You know, we gonna milk. You know, everything. but I don't think I that's what Top Dog uh, has how he's been running. Like he he feels like everybody um, on his squad can run point. You know, because I'm telling you, like it's gonna be a problem when you know from the snippets that you know. I've heard it's going to be a problem when Scissor comes back out. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying like you know, I'd really as, enjoy as much as, boy it, album. as much really as would. as much as I love uh, Snow Allegra and her, like you know, people are waiting on Scissor to come back. 
Mm-hmm. So it's it's going to be in plus to have that component on the R and B side is very yeah. very important, sir, man. Yeah, sir. sir. Is a yeah. Beast. Um, yeah, as a far beast. as Kendrick, you know, one of the things that like, and it's it's kind of crazy because we talked about Lauren Hill last week and how like basically, mm-hmm. you know, she would just, and I, I in a way I can I, I can put Kendrick and Lauren Hill in the same category, but not because put our way they love product. like the thing is Kendrick, you know. Wait, I what? think he enjoys the adulation, but he's put out way more. No, I mean though. this is this is where I'm going. He enjoys the adulation. He enjoys the uh, uh, the uh, love he gets, but he doesn't need it. See, that was the thing with Lauren. Like she probably, you know, it did. She didn't need it. Mm. Not now Lauren and, was going through something, else. but at the same time, she didn't need it, and she felt like she didn't even need to make art. Yeah. You know, I feel like Kendrick is driven by creating. Timeless art. No, I, I think with I think with Lauren, her uh, her marriage is kind of what what turned her into a different animal, so to speak. I think it was her marriage and the fact that it came out like because at first we're thinking she's this genius who, uh, you know, who produces whole album. Then when it came out in a lawsuit that she didn't produce the whole album, <laughs> yeah, right. Robert like Glasper said, actually had some. Uh, he went off. Oh, yeah, yeah, some uh, input so, on that album. You know, I, I I think that's that's part of it. You know, he went off, but. You know, I, I feel like there are certain, you know, and, and you can say, you know, if you're going to go in the into the middle, like somebody like D'Angelo, you know, someone who I think in, you know, enjoys creating dope art, but doesn't particularly enjoy the game of having to. You can tell by you the know, actually releasing it. It's kind of like, yeah, if, if we're saying that it's kind of like Bill Withers as well. I feel like Bill Withers dropped classic albums and then decided I'm just going to record stuff and listen to it myself. Yeah, True. I feel like D- I feel like D'Angelo Kendrick. Uh, like, there's probably Lauren Hill probably never stopped recording music. She just won't play it for us. You know, um, Kendrick, I can see her Kendrick on a lot of records. Kendrick. It probably has two or three albums worth of stuff. You know, he, he hopefully he doesn't wind up being like detox or Chinese <laughs> democracy, but you know, he probably, you know, cause he's somebody who probably enjoys creating art, you know, but just the whole going on promo runs and having to talk to program directors, it's not for everybody. And, you know, it's, it's, it is a, a dueling task, you know, like, and he's in a position, um, uh, much like Lauren Hill to where it's like, I've made enough money. I've done, like that's where the comparison is where I've made enough money to where I don't feel like I want to create art and give it to the people but I don't want to play this game anymore with y'all mm-hmm. yeah. because I mean, look it, at his face on the cover of damn yeah right. that, that kind of sums up the, the the whole past five years because it's a soul-sucking <laughs> of experience how, how it's almost like and everybody's not thinking how he it. felt yeah yeah it's like I think the same thing is with uh three stacks falls into that I just don't think he likes you know what comes with it. Y'all saw the interview. We we Oops. talked about it. Yeah, he um, said it. He just some, yeah. it's just not for everybody. You know, damn was what 2017. So, but I you know, but at the same time, Kendrick also gave us like album, album, yeah, album, that's, album, album. Yeah, that's where because like if he like the same way I feel about Outkast. You know, I'd love another Outkast album, but I'm so appreciative of what they've given us. Yeah, that you know if if they if if Andre doesn't want to do this anymore. Thank you for what you've already done. Right. He's got you know, nice if structure. Kendrick doesn't want to do this anymore and he's got only got one more in him, thank you for what you've already done. Yeah. Yeah. And I need I need to look at it. I need to remove myself and the it's hard to sometimes remove the fandom because what you said is right. Like instead of forcing these people to come out and maybe rush product, you know, and put something out just for the sake of putting it out and for the sake of people wanting it and then it'd be subpar, like just take appreciate which what we got even if it is one more and just rock with it like that's a good way to look at it i don't I don't think about it as much as i should like that like it, it's it's cool to say that like thank you for what you've done and we're just gonna rock with the old stuff and be done with it so yeah i'm not, I'm not mad at that i, I would if you've enjoyed this segment of the new old heads podcast make sure you join our live show every tuesday from 9 to 11 p.m eastern on twitch.tv slash new old heads you can also catch playback of all of our shows on any podcast app and youtube.com slash new old heads network and go to new slash community to join our discord